Alright, what's up my single Sony ponies and Xbox? How are y'all doing my brothers? How are y'all? <laughs> How y'all doing man? Today is one of the craziest day on God, okay? We're gonna be going on a long drive today, okay? Fasten your seatbelts guys, cause today the road is gonna be bumpy. Sony is firing. They are shutting down. Oh, shit. They oh, shit. are firing devs. Allegedly, that's a news report going around. Might be cap. Stop the cap. Might not be cap. We're gonna dive right into it. Smash that like button, subscribe right now, and Xbox, don't laugh. Okay, one. If, 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 if you laugh, you're gonna get red filled too, okay? So don't laugh. Roll a it. lot of the internet right now is incredibly pissed at PlayStation. Yeah. Also, no, no, they also like this, right? Yeah, everybody's looking like this. I, I hear you, I hear you. Just fired a bunch of the developers at Bungie. Sony purchased Bungie not even that long ago, and now they're doing mass layoffs. Anybody that they feel like isn't working hard enough is being cut. And Bruh. here's the thing, some of the developers that are being fired are award-winning people. The guy who oh wrote God. all the music for the Halo- Yo, what? What? Yo, what the actual eh, bro? So you're telling me so, uh, Sony bought Bungie, right? After the Activision deal, right? Did this don't even make sense, bro? They bought it and now they're firing these things ass. Hello Games head writers of previous Bungie projects, the heads of PR, like they have just fired so much of the studio that they're now delaying games that were about to come to PlayStation. But let's talk Bruh. about that. What's up, Gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Right here. Hi, Hi. Hope, hope you're having, having a great day. I'm not having a great day today, bro. Hey, if you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, check here, out. here's your like. Here's your like, okay, you guys? Like the video, subscribe right now. Oh, it's my Halloween costume. I'm a nice Starfleet <laughs> officer, right? It's pretty cool, huh? I'm really proud of this. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> bro, people are getting their ass fired. And you are showing your Halloween costume. Here's my costume, okay? Here's my costume. Yeah, this is my costume. Or better than this. This is the homies blame truth costume. Guys. Do not wear any retard helmet on Halloween, guys. Don't do that. That's a retard helmet. He has been promoting that. That's what the game devs want you to wear all day, every day. Because they don't want you asking for no questions. So don't wear that, guys. Bungie is the latest studio to be affected by layoffs. These layoffs come 15 months after Sony finalized the $3.7 billion Damn. deal to acquire Bungie. The entire game industry has been hit hard by layoffs. Now, dog, they could have gave that $3.7 billion to you guys and to me, bro. What the actual F? Why y'all suckers wasted that much money, bro? As a brown man, I demand free online for PlayStation immediately. Like and subscribe if you agree. When this deal initially went the through, that, the biggest aspect that people were applauding is that Sony didn't just buy Bungie, they bought every employee contract. Now, this is incredibly rare. Typically, when you buy a studio, you're buying the IPs and the brands. You know, if you're buying Call of Duty, you're buying Call of Duty and not yeah. necessarily the Call of Duty developers. But Sony paid the higher price to keep the entire staff and now suddenly mm. less than even a year and a half later they decided to do mass layoffs anyways <laughs> now this is incredibly weird because it's meaning that destiny 2's mm. next expansion which i believe is their last expansion has now been delayed which is oh weird God. it's getting a three-month pushback we don't know the exact number but it does seem to be a big big firing spree going on now right here's the thing right like guys this might be copium but emergency meeting now i've been reading a lot of comments on the story right some stickers are saying that it was not sony that fired it was actually bungie sony bought bungie right sony bought the contracts of these devs like we are hearing okay fair okay they bought these devs 3.7 billion okay they bought it and now we're hearing it's not sony but it was actually Bungie that fired. I'm not sure what to believe no more, guys. But the, the fact here is that the devs ended up getting fired. They ended up getting bumble clapped. They got their ass kicked. They, they're getting their ass beat up right now, which is which is kind of sad, right? I mean, I wouldn't... Man, that, that that's kind of quite sad to also hear that some of these devs were very much like the soul of the game. Or they, they were big devs, right? Uh, with uh, a lot of experience. 
uh, Halo devs as well that were at Bungie, so they got their ass fired right now. Uh, and apparently it was just Bungie, so Sony paid them and they, they fired the devs, and that, that's kind of like what we're hearing. Right now, uh, that's happening. and Marathon, their next games as a service project, has been pushed to 2025. 2025. Now, people are wondering, what's the inspiration for this? And I actually think it's sort of confirming this leak that came out a couple days ago, that Damn. apparently... PlayStation is getting a bit scared as to how hard they're going into games as a service. Yeah. Like, Sony <laughs> themselves was really bragging about the- Bro, there is literally no games coming out, bro. That is absolutely crazy. It's sad to be a gamer in this day and age, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, bruh. There's nothing coming out. Yes, Spider-Man 2 came out. It's, it's good. Like, I watched the entire game on YouTube. Guys, I own PlayStation. I'm currently on vacay, so I cannot play. So I was like, okay, bruh. I'm just gonna watch it on YouTube, save my money like that, and maybe in the future when the game goes on sale, I'll buy it. I know a lot of you guys bought it, a lot of you guys love it. I watched the entirety on YouTube. I loved it, bro. The game is amazing. The story is amazing. I watched it with my own eyes. Sony games, Sony movies, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Xbox, y'all suckers better not laugh, okay? I know Sony got movies and Xbox got games, but those games are like 30 FPS. Let's be real, Red Fail 2, I mean, come on now, right? Uh, but, 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 but the thing is that Xbox got Starfield and they got nothing coming out right now. PlayStation got Spider-Man 2 and they got nothing other than Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine is going to be massive, uh, but, but we do not have a confirmed release date. So I, I, sus I suspect that it's going to be coming out in 2025, maybe 2024 if we're lucky, but that's definitely going to be towards the end of that year. Other than that, there is literally nothing coming out, or at least they have not announced anything. You feel what I'm saying? It's dry as hell. Everybody's waiting for GTA 6 right now. A Call of Duty, yeah, Call of Duty sells every single year, but but that's pretty much about it. There is no good single player games. I'm talking about new games, guys. No good single player games coming out. The finals looking amazing though. X Define, yeah, it's gonna be coming out, but I'm not not everybody's gonna be X, into X Define, and also not everybody's into FPS games. Where is where are the games? Maybe I'm the only one that's feeling the drought because I'm not sure what Alan Wake 2 heard it's it's a banger as well. Yeah, but that just came up. But what what's next, right? Like uh, talk to me, child. Like talk to me, man. Give me some hope right now, bro. The fact that they're working on ten separate games as a service projects. And I roasted them for this. Everybody roasted them for this because yeah, yeah. even if you're making good games as a service, ten of them is too much. Too much. Sony yeah. is no. It should be like three max, bro. Like for big, fun, high budget, great single player games. Yeah. Games like God of War, Ragnarok, and Spider-Man Two are not yeah, just yeah, yeah. fun; they sell consoles. So trying to true, suddenly push true. out. 10 separate even though i watched it on youtube but i was looking to buy though aside from that woke bs that the game has though the story is actually pretty pretty good aside from that strong independent mj mm -mm, need no man i'm gonna help out spider-man but i'm not gonna cook you dinner tonight though bruh you feel what i'm saying i'm dead's little princess yeah, aside from that strong independent mj and all that woke bullshies they drop in spider-man uh, I wish we could buy the Middle East version uh, in the East Coast as well, in America, in the in the States, in the UK, because the Middle Eastern version is definitely the 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 best version for Spider-Man. You feel what I'm saying? But but sadly, you cannot get it in in Canada or in the US. You get the woke version, right? With, with the with the ESG score, that's the, the the score they're trying to grind right now. But minus all of that, like Spider-Man 2 is pretty good, though. I I have to say, but minus that, minus that. Weird games as a service sequels, like apparently they were doing a Horizon Zero Dawn online free to play thing. There's going to be the Last of Us multiplayer at some point. Apparently, that stuff was getting expensive, and they started to get nervous that if those weren't profitable enough, the whole company could fall apart. So, Man. them trying to That's back wild. off on that, oh my God. I think this is where a lot of that budget cutting is coming from. Is I think they bought Bungie to help with this, and now that they're not going in full <laughs> blast on games as a service, they don't need these Bungie employees. But this is just a crappy excuse. It sucks they're firing so many people that just got hired. A lot of people are talking about the fact that this is just something that hurts every game studio. 
Like, obviously, the people that got fired, yeah. well, now you're just not getting money. The studio suffers because they're losing, losing talented people. people. Yeah. The remaining freaking employees are suffering because now all their friends just got fired. And now Unexpected. they're going to have to do more work because they don't have them. And later, they're going to... What is happening is just absolutely mental. It's crazy because a couple of weeks ago, we were hearing Phil Spencer or Phil Spender say to the FTC, if in the year 2027... If we cannot uh, exceed the Game Pass expectations, if Game Pass do not sell uh, and does the numbers that we want, we are going to be selling Xbox. Xbox is going to cease to exist. Yeah, that's like I said that. Phil Spencer said that in the year 2027. I mean, if they cannot do good numbers with the Game Pass, they're going to be uh, shutting down Xbox. They're going to be Microsoft is going to leave the gaming business. That was the quote. And I mean, look what's happening with Sony. Look what's happening with Sony right now. I have to hire different employees anyways. But here's the craziest thing. I'm just blown away by the fact that they're firing a lot of their people that did the best work. Their yeah. head of visual design. Oh my gosh, here's the president of Bungie basically being like, oh man. Oh she, bro. I thought that was Pete Hines, dog. I don't it sure know why. does suck. I had to fire everybody. Oh man, these were exceptional individuals. Everyone's like, "Hey man, um, maybe don't complain about the fact that you just fired everybody." Like, <laughs> did they reduce your salary? Nope, they just fired everybody. This is the craziest firing though, by far. Man, they fired the guy that made all of the freaking soundtracks for Halos One, oh, Two, shit. Three, Four, and ODST. This is insane. Also, Stubbs the Zombie, they just changed it. He just made it so that it just says Gone Fishing. Of all the people to fire, this guy even was obviously Destiny's lead. This suck is crazy. This suck is crazy. In Urdu, I would like to say, bro, ye na ye chutiya pa hai. Ek dam chutiya pa hai. Inki pain. Jo ya tha kha ke net tadi nikle. Three point seven billion dollars, bro. Ye hume de sakte the. Ye tumare paise hai. Ye mere paise khare. Ye pain. Jo saare. Yo, these like a, bro, man, they should make free online. That's the conclusion I'm getting to right now. They should make. Nah, 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 bro. They should make free online, bro. Like, subscribe if you agree, dog. If you agree with the messaging right now, they should make the online free immediately, okay? They should make it immediately, bro. Composer. How expensive could this guy have even been to have? Like, yeah, right. Like, like, let me even just talk. Like, not even they don't even pay this like a, like a million dollars, and they spend three point seven billion, bro. About this mathematic. Probably gonna be like a hundred bands, maybe a hundred bands if he's lucky per year, or two hundred bands. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit frustrated when these companies just fire talented people because what's the long game here, like? Yeah. This guy cannot have been that expensive. Like PlayStation, even beyond everybody else. Why? F I tell you, he's probably was being paid like a hundred bands a year. Damn it, like a hundred k USD a year, which is good. That's good money though. That is way above average though, because the average I believe is like around 50, 55. Uh, 60k like 50 60 grand a year for an average American that's USD that's paper that is paper though so I would not be surprised if this like was getting a hundred bands maybe even 200 bands but that's uh, doubt doubt big doubt fire people that it had to have been cheap what number crunching do you go yeah the guy who wrote every good bungee soundtrack ever Man. yeah let's fire that guy even they're like heads of their PR mind. and stuff. It's a horrible dichotomy that one of the most incredible games, years where we're getting back-to-back -back incredible 10 out of 10 games, and now for some reason, it's also the year of relentless, brutal layoff. Yeah, relentless. There we go, boys. That's a oh bumble cut moment. But this is what Phil Spender said recently, guys. This has been an absolute crazy video. Click on this video on the screen. Don't sleep on this one. Check out what Phil Spencer, Daddy Phil Spencer said because uh, it might affect you guys. Check it out and I'll see you right there.